Thank you, Presiding Officer. I'd like to begin by thanking Jamie Halfield Johnson for securing this debate, and I'm delighted that we're having this opportunity to recognise modern apprenticeships. I'm very proud that um, the Scottish Government has delivered over 200,000 modern apprenticeships since coming to power in 2007, and I absolutely commend the commitment to raising that to 30,000 per annum by the end of this decade. Um, I was uh, one of the 99 um, MSPs who had the fantastic opportunity to go and visit um, apprentice, apprentices in my constituency of Renfrewshire South. I went to the McGill's depot um, in Johnston. Uh, we also have a depot in Barnhead as well, and they uh, had apprenticeships from right across my constituency and beyond. I think it's important to remember we often uh, of late have been debating buses um, within this parliament for many reasons, but they are also fantastic employers, and McGill's have been given really brilliant opportunities to young people. And I met a range of apprentices um, covering a, a range of trades, um, coach builders, mechanics and electricians. And it was clear to me how much they valued the opportunity, how much, they, how much pleasure they took from it as well, the camaraderie, the friendships. Um, but also there were some points raised which echo some of the points that Ruth McGuire highlighted in her remarks, which um, relate to perhaps more work to be done increasing awareness. I would commend Skills Development Scotland and the work they do to raise awareness, um, but I think there's always more that we can do. Um, certainly I think as well it's very important that parents know, I think if there's um, lack of awareness and understanding of what a uh, modern apprenticeship entails, then perhaps parents as key influencers um, may not have had the confidence to give that backing and recommendation to a young person. Uh, I think a key issue that has been raised um, in this debate is parity of esteem. And I absolutely agree we have to have parity of esteem between vocational and academic learning. Um, my father and two of his brothers were apprentices. Now, this was a, a different era of apprentices when you could walk into a yard on a Friday and get a job on the Monday in the late 60s. But they were both born in a single line in Borheed in the late 40s and early 50s, leaving school with no qualifications. My father, as an apprentice electrician, was unable to go on, work abroad, work in the health service, do city and guilds, progress into becoming an electrical engineer, become a manager, and develop continually and retire as an estates manager in the health service. My uncle started off as a mechanic, worked and became worked, got a job with Scania, worked as a trades part, set up his own business, and had a, which had a seven figure turnover. And what this speaks to me about is the nature of on-the-job learning and the capacity to adapt. One of the challenges that we're also going to face is the ever-increasing pace of change within the workplace environment. The jobs of 10 years may, may well be obsolescent in 20 years. So capacity for continuously reinventing oneself, retraining, reskilling, and not beginning into a, a, an ossified role is going to be absolutely vital. And one of the points that Alexander Burnett put um, very eloquently was the benefit to employers in that regard, and particularly on the issue of productivity. And there was a thought that struck me when Mr Burnett was making his remarks, is that we know that one of the challenges we have in productivity is for, um, for many businesses, where we are very good at innovating, there's challenges in businesses uptaking those innovations. Now, for people who are apprentices and have on-the-job learning hardwired into them, I think they are going to be far more skilled at seeing opportunities to uptake these innovations and to apply them. So apprenticeships are great for apprentices themselves, but they're also fantastic for the employers and great for the Scottish economy overall. Thank you, President Officer.